our next series of videos, we'll be covering methods. Before we get started on learning about methods and how to create them, I would first like to add a little forward. Methods are really difficult to understand and implement. It will take time to fully understand how to create methods, as well as their implementation. We're going to go through the next series of videos very slowly together with quite a bit of explanation. Things might seem slow, but we want to make sure that you're able to grasp the basics of methods before moving forward. By creating our own methods, we should be comfortable using Apple created methods. Using Apple's methods will save us a ton of time and work since Apple has written a ton of functionality we will be able to use to our advantage. We've seen a few examples of methods. One of them was resign first responder, which when called on our text field object made our keyboard disappear. Let's get started. As said before, methods are sent to objects or classes in order to act upon them or to get them to do something. The syntax of a method is object method, so I'm going to quickly just show that inside of viewDidLoad here, although I'm going to remove this in just a second since this is not valid code. So we have an object and we pass some sort of message to that object and a, a bit of code will evaluate. We can also think about this as the receiver and the sender. The sender sends a message to the receiver to evaluate and we get, again, some code to evaluate. Again, I'm going to remove these two lines because they're just meant to graphically show you what's going on. Those aren't actually valid lines of code. So our dog now has some attributes, but what if we wanted to describe its actions? We would need to use methods. You've seen some methods before, but now we should actually get used to their anatomy. Let's create our first method. Well, what do dogs do? They bark, they run, they eat food off the floor. Let's make a bark method. We're first going to declare a method in our header file for the MBA, MBF dog.h file. So below our properties, I can add a few returns, and it's nice uh, coding, or it looks nice to have our properties all grouped together, and then we're going to group all of our methods, so we're going to create more methods in the following videos, we're going to group them all together nicely as well. And it doesn't matter to the computer, but from an art of programming standpoint, it looks nice to have code that's easily read and maintainable. So we're going to declare a method and we're going to write subtraction sign parentheses with the word void in the middle and we see void is pink so we know that it's a keyword and we're going to type bark with a semicolon at the end. We'll talk about the syntax shown here in a future video but we've made a very simple method in this header file. Methods are a great way of grouping code together so that we can evaluate group code dynamically.